In the truck, project scientist and team leader Michael Studinger and senior scientist John Sontag. Destination, the weather office. This is how Operation Icebridge begins its day, 5 p.m., six days a week. I'm Michael Starobin in Kangarlooswak, Greenland. Operation Icebridge is a NASA research initiative designed to study changes in global ice cover, a key indicator into the condition of Earth's overall climate. The science is complicated, the missions sophisticated, and the team motivated. For Icebridge, mission success is all about planning and teamwork. Oh, that's not so bad. But you can't plan for weather. Specific flights always come down to last-minute weather-dependent selections of pre-planned routes. Uh, well, there are some spots Each night they consider the options. So the next, next question would be this area and a bit north of there. Forecast in hand, it's off to the 6 o'clock science meeting. Well, let's get started. John updates mission weather status for the team. Not terribly strong, but strong enough to cause some trouble over there, so... Uh, the two baseline missions we still have left are the hell high Lucy runs flight. down the flight manifest for the coming day. Uh, Michael and what about George and Michael too? Then, if there's no further business... Anything else? Supper usually follows. Some visit the kitchen. Many find themselves here. They could go into town, but... Oh, wait. This is the center of town. In mid-spring above the Arctic Circle, the sun is out late. But after a long day already, most of the team is tired, and the morning alarm isn't far away. Generally 5.45 or so. The plane powers up at 6.30. For Michael and John, it's back to the truck, back to the weather office. The low a quick conference here sets the final route for the day, while the rest of the team preps operations at the tarmac. Michael and John join them shortly, and John posts the day's map. There's still about an hour prep until takeoff, but then... Turbo fans spin up, the team buckles in, the P-3 rolls out. Missions last about eight hours. Some fly over seemingly endless planes of smooth white ice. Some fly between rocky spires embracing glaciers headed for the sea. Each flight records about three terabytes of data, vital measurements about the state of the Earth's ice inventory. Finally, hours later, touchdown. Everyone's ready to get home. That's usually around 4.45 or so, and guess what? At 5, Michael and John need to get back in the truck to head to the weather office. After all, there's a mission tomorrow.